According to a statement issued by ISPR, the Pakistan military's top brass has resolved to wholeheartedly assist the government in curbing all illegal activities that hamper economic growth, stability and investor confidence. The resolve was expressed during the 259th Corps Commanders Conference at the General Headquarters in Rawalpindi, where the military leadership's full support for ongoing efforts for socio-economic growth under the umbrella of the Special Investment Facilitation Council was also reiterated. The ISPR statement added that the need for the speedy development of the economic potential of newly merged districts and border districts of Balochistan for sustainable peace and growth was emphasized. Besides pledging support for economic growth, the military leadership also resolved to defend the sovereignty and territorial integrity of Pakistan against all kinds of direct and indirect threats. The ISPR further said that participants of the conference were briefed on the prevalent geostrategic environment, challenges to national security and their own strategy in response to evolving threats. The Corps Commander meeting comes less than a week after Chief of Army Staff General Asim Munir, who also presided over today's meeting, assured the business community earlier in the week of fostering transparency in dollar exchange and interbank rates. Caretaker Prime Minister Anwar ul Kakar told a delegation of businessmen that the government was reforming the tax system through digitization and underscored the need to boost tax collection for economic development. According to a statement issued by the PM's office, he met a delegation of the Islamabad Chamber of Commerce and Industry where he said the interim government would bring economic stability by winning the confidence of traders, industrialists and investors. The statement comes a day after the Federal Board of Revenue briefed the PM on the taxation system as well as the measures being taken to expand the taxpayer base and get more retailers integrated into the point-of-sale system of the FPR. The agency also held out an assurance to the Premier that it would bring 1 million new taxpayers on the tax roll and 20,000 retailers to the POS system by end of June 2024. The statement further said that the PM issued directives for the authorities concerned to submit a report on the expansion of FPR's POS system besides improving the performance of commercial attaches in Pakistan's diplomatic missions. Recounting the results of the government's recent actions, the Premier added that a crackdown by the government on smuggling during the last 48 hours had brought positive outcomes. U.S. Ambassador to Pakistan, Donald Bloom, met with the caretaker, commerce, industries and production minister, Dr. Gohar Ejaz, to discuss strengthening economic and trade relations and fostering mutual cooperation for improved bilateral ties. One of the key highlights of the meeting was the exploration of potential opportunities for boosting trade in various sectors, including textile, value-added food products, fresh mangoes and dates, soybean and beef. Dr. Rajaz informed the U.S. envoy that the government has formed a Special Investment Facilitation Council aimed at attracting investments in various sectors such as mines and minerals, agriculture, information technology and energy. He stressed that more U.S. companies could explore the options to invest in these sectors. The ministers also elaborated on the government's efforts for an economic revival plan with the ambassador, underscoring the importance of economic growth of Pakistan's future and appreciated the U.S. government for their continued support. Russian President Vladimir Putin has ordered his government to fund research into artificial intelligence as competition with the West to develop such technology heats up, a Kremlin document published on Thursday stated. Generative AI bots burst into the spotlight late in 2022 after US-made ChatGPT demonstrated its ability to engage in human-like conversations, prompting Russia to develop its own technology. According to the document, Putin has ordered the government to implement measures to support AI research, including by providing for an annual allocation from the federal budget. This research would include optimizing machine learning algorithms as well as developing large language models, such as the one developed by OpenAI's ChatGPT, the document read. It also called on state-owned firms to accelerate the rollout of AI and ordered the government to support the creation of supercomputers by providing benefits to Russian manufacturers. Putin has repeatedly called for Russia to achieve what he calls technological sovereignty as Western sanctions over the conflict in Ukraine block Moscow from getting computer parts such as semiconductors. Google is facing a new lawsuit in Britain which accuses the US tech giant of stifling competition in the search engine market and causing prices to rise across the UK economy. A claim filed with the UK Competition Appeal Tribunal is seeking around £7 billion in damages on behalf of effectively every consumer in the country. It accuses Google of breaching competition law by shutting out mobile search competition and using its market dominance to increase the prices paid by advertisers for their prominence on the Google search page. According to the claim, 
These costs are then passed on to consumers who are charged more for the goods and services they buy. The lawsuit argues that Google abused its dominant position by tying its search with other apps and services such as requiring smartphone manufacturers to pre-install Google Search and Google Chrome apps to obtain a license to use the Google Play App Store. It also says Google paid Apple to ensure it was the default search engine for the Safari browser on Apple devices such as iPhones. According to consumer rights group Consumer Voice, the claim is made on behalf of 65 million UK consumers who may be owed around £100 in compensation each if the lawsuit is successful. A Google spokesperson called the case speculative and opportunistic and said the company will argue against it vigorously. Lawsuits have previously been filed against Google, claiming billions in compensation for publishers in lost revenue from advertising. Google and other US tech giants have also faced investigations from US, British and EU regulators in recent years as authorities crack down on their business practices.